Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. Hey, the word works. Been talking to you for over a week now on the power that's in the blood. Remember that God told the children of Israel that if they would put the blood of the lamb over the door and down each side of the door, when that destroyer came in, he said, I will not allow him to come into your house and destroy you. Well, Jesus is the door. He shed his blood and the destroyer does not have a right to come in and destroy you. Now, yesterday and the day before, I was talking about bodily healing. The blood of the lamb was shed so that you don't have to be sick. Now, let's talk about redemption again, the great exchange. I never committed any righteousness, but Jesus never committed any unrighteousness. But because of his righteousness, and I received that, he became my sin that I wouldn't have to be, and I'm the righteousness of God. Jesus was never sick, but yet he took the sickness of the world, and with his stripes you were healed, so that you don't have to be the sick. He defeated the devil so you don't have to. All you got to do is resist him. He went to hell so we don't have to. The, the point is, there was enough power in the blood to heal every sickness and every disease. That's what it says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good and healing all <clears throat> that were oppressed of the devil. There's not one time that Jesus came up to anybody and says, Oh, well, you know, me and God, we never heard of that. That sickness is too great. You got to die. There's not any time that Jesus came up to anybody and said, well, you know, you need to just keep that sickness for a while. And, and after all, God and me give it to you so it teach you something. No, no, no. If that was true, you ought to pray that you get sicker so that you learn the lesson well. And if you take an aspirin or go to the doctor, you're definitely getting out of the will of God because after all, God gave you that thing. That's stupid, but that's what religion teaches. Now, somebody said, yeah, but I know people that was believing that and they died. They wasn't really believing. They might have said they was believing because you can't die if you believe in the word of God for divine health because the blood was sufficient. The power of God is sufficient, saints. So what I'm telling you is there's nine different methods. I might run through those tomorrow in the New Testament for you to receive healing. God wants you well. And Jesus put all the sickness on the devil so much so that when, I mean, on the on Jesus so much so that when he was on the cross, it says they didn't even recognize him as a, as a man because he had every sickness known to man on his body, which was enough to get you healed. Hey, I believe in divine health. I'm walking in divine health. Healed from the top of my head to the tip of my toes because of what Jesus did. It's not based on what I do. It's based on what he did. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, hey, have a great day. Enjoy the blessings of God. Be healed from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. And remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.